Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about PlayStation acquiring Bungie. If that sounds interesting, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing if you're new. It really helps the channel grow. Now, this is coming from PlayStation's official Twitter account over on the PlayStation blog. And the headline reads, Legendary developer to join PlayStation as independent multi-platform studio and publisher. And it starts off with a message coming from Jim Ryan and he says, Today I am happy to announce Bungie will be joining the PlayStation family. First off, I want to be very clear to the community that Bungie will remain an independent and multi-platform studio and publisher. As such, we believe it makes sense for it to sit alongside the PlayStation Studios organization and we are incredibly excited about the opportunities for synergies and collaboration between these two world-class groups. I have spent a lot of time with Pete Parsons, Jason Jones, and, and the Bungie management team to develop the right relationships where they will be fully backed and supported by Sony Interactive Entertainment and enabled to do what they do best, build incredible worlds that captivate millions of people. Bungie's world-class expertise in multi-platform development and live game services will help us deliver on our vision of expanding PlayStation to hundreds of millions of gamers. Bungie is a great innovator and has developed incredible proprietary tools that will help PlayStation Studios achieve new heights under Herman Hall's leadership. Here are a few words from Herman about this exciting acquisition and what it means for gamers. I am absolutely thrilled to announce a new member will be joining the PlayStation family. I've been a fan of Bungie for many years. I have admired and enjoyed the games that they create and have great respect for their skill in building worlds that gamers want to explore again and again. Bungie makes games with outstanding technology that are enormously fun to play. They also have unmatched dedication to the communities that play their games and everyone at PlayStation and PlayStation Studios will be excited about what we can share and learn from them. I've spent a great deal of time with the senior team at Bungie and it is clear the experience and skills are highly complementary to our own. We will be ready to welcome and support Bungie as they continue to grow and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for this incredible team. Here are a few words from Pete Parsons, CEO of Bungie. We believe games have limitless potential and, and that to do anything worthwhile in entertainment we must bet big on our vision, on our studio, and on other incredible team of entrusted creators who build unforgettable worlds that truly matter to people. In Sony, we have found a partner who unconditionally supports us in all we are and who wants to accelerate our vision to create generation spanning entertainment, all while preserving the creative independence that beats in Bungie's heart. Like us, Sony believes that game worlds are only the beginning of what our IPs can become. Together we share a dream of creating and fostering iconic franchises that unite friends around the world, families across generations, and fans across multiple platforms and entertainment mediums. Today, Bungie begins our journey to become a global multimedia entertainment company. Since taking flight in 1991, Bungie has always charted the future with our own star map, a path that is driven by our people and for our community. We are continuing that journey with new worlds in development and we can't wait to share them with you. With Sony, the potential for our universes is unlimited. Our future games will take bold steps into unexplored spaces for Bungie, continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, and will always be built on a foundation of creating meaningful, lifelong friendships and memories. We remain in charge of our destiny. We will continue to independently publish and creatively develop our games. We will continue to drive one unified Bungie community. Our games will continue to be where our community is wherever they choose to play. With Sony's support, the most immediate change you will see is an acceleration in hiring talent across the entire studio to support our ambitious vision. If this speaks to you and you want to help us put a dent in the universe, we are hiring across all disciplines for Destiny 2 and, and for all new worlds beyond. What makes our worlds come to life is our community and our people in the studio. Our people are the soul of Bungie. Empowered by our people, we have pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible and transformed who we are as a company. Over the past 30 years, the inviting worlds we've built have turned into thriving communities, and that community is the true magic. These communities have taken Bungie beyond games. They have forged lifelong bonds and humbled us with the real, meaningful good they drive within us and the world. More than anything, Sony understands that our people and our community are both the priority and the heart of our success and are willing to stand alongside us as we continue to use our platform to drive action towards a more welcoming and equitable world. Our goal is to build a place where the world's most creative and talented people can come and do their best work no matter who they are, where they are from, or how they identify. 
That's the real dent in the universe we want to make, the one we want to last beyond us. Be a part of this future with us, see you starside. Now I know that was a lot to read, but you know, I really wanted to let you guys know not only what Jim Ryan had to say, but also Herman Hulst and the CEO of Bungie himself. You know, now obviously when this news first broke, you know, it shocked everyone. I, I first saw like it break news on Twitter from Jason Schreier. You know, and I was like, okay, you know, I mean, now let's talk about the acquisition itself is playstation purchasing bungie on the same level as microsoft purchasing activision no you know because now when you actually look at the number itself it is a lot of money because playstation has spent almost four billion dollars to buy bungie and so when you compare it to the Activision deal that was almost 70 billion so as far as that it's not even close you know but you know the main reason why I'm making this video is because I had one question you know one thing that I was very curious about when it came to PlayStation acquiring Bungie and that was was is this Sony's response to Activision or was this always going to happen you know because obviously you guys you guys know there's a lot of PlayStation fans that are saying that Sony has to respond by buying a massive developer like Take-Two Interactive or Konami or EA you know and my opinion on that is I don't want that to happen you know I don't want Sony to go out of their way to buy a big publisher just so they can say that they bought a big publisher just to rival Microsoft buying Activision because first of all when it comes to money there's not really any companies in the world that can really rival Microsoft maybe a few but Sony is not one of them Microsoft has so much more money than Sony does so whenever Sony actually purchases developers or whatever they do it has to be smart it has to be strategic it has to make sense and it has to pay off because Microsoft can afford for things to fail like if things fail it doesn't really matter because they have almost an unlimited supply of money in which Sony doesn't you know and so yeah that was my big question it was is Sony buying Bungie just because they wanted to just to respond to Microsoft or was Sony always planning on doing this whether or not Activision was bought by Microsoft and actually about a few hours after this official news broke we got our answer so there was someone higher up on Twitter that said that you know PlayStation started negotiations with Bungie to actually buy them all the way back in July of 2021 and Microsoft didn't even begin negotiations with Activision for their deal until late 2021. So Sony was always going to do this, you know, because these deals take many months, maybe years to actually come to fruition, you know. So for the people out there saying that, like, Sony's doing this just to respond to Microsoft, I mean, that's incorrect, you know. And also someone else on Twitter said that, like, you know, it's not really even possible to make a response this quick because you can't really just out of nowhere decide to buy a developer like in two weeks because negotiations just just take way too long that's just not really possible you know unless like they throw like a huge amount of money that the company just can't refuse to not take you know but like i said earlier playstation can't afford to do that you know and also another crazy thing about this is that you would think like if you heard the news that Bungie is now owned by PlayStation you would think that now PlayStation would make Bungie games exclusive to the PlayStation but that's not the case you know the main reason why Sony bought Bungie is to help them with like their live service games and stuff like that you know now do I believe that during the lifetime of this deal if I had to bet money I would definitely say that maybe over the next three to five years will at least one of Bungie games be a PlayStation exclusive absolutely 
Now, most of them are going to be multi-platform. So, you know, for those of you who maybe only play Xbox or PC and you like Bungie's games, you know, for the most part, and, and maybe even like 100%, we don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. But at least the majority of their future games, you're going to be able to play on Xbox or PlayStation or Nintendo or PC, you know, and, you know, and, you know, because that's what Jim Ryan said, like, in like the first sentence of like, in this article, he like really wanted to reiterate that like, this is not like an exclusivity deal. Bungie is still going to be making games on other platforms. They're still independent, you know? And of course that is weird because if someone's going to buy a studio, you would think they would want to make all their games exclusive, but not with this deal. So, I mean, yeah, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you feel like Sony buying Bungie is going to end up working in the long run for Sony? Or do you feel like maybe this wasn't the right move for Sony? And also on a quick side note, I also like when you think about it like after microsoft bought activision and they made crash bandicoot you know obviously now crash bandicoot is owned by microsoft you know and like crash bandicoot was created by playstation and now playstation owns bungie and bungie created halo and halo was like the biggest thing that's ever happened for xbox so you know if that doesn't just show that like the world we're living in is so insane that a game series created by PlayStation is now owned by Microsoft and now a Microsoft created studio is now owned by PlayStation. That's just insane to me. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to check out this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and consider subscribing if you're new. It really does help the channel grow. Until next time, guys, take care.